Hi YouTube, my name is Heather and I love anti-MLM content here on YouTube. Today I'm really excited for us to watch a team Beachbody training where a five-star elite Beachbody coach is going to teach us about the six benefits of signing our spouse or our significant other as our first coach. So I'm really excited to get started and please let me know what you think below. Um, coaching has radically changed my family's lives, for that I'm forever grateful. I got to quit my full-time nursing job because of this business and be present with my family. And today I'm sharing one... I know it's been two seconds. I feel like that would have been a good spot for the income, the income statement where Team Beach Bond is, does not guarantee any level of success, blah, blah, blah. Every team, every coach's success is based on their skill and diligence because chances are people in her downline are not going to find the same level of level of success and they're not going to find the level of income where they are able to quit their full-time job and have their beach body income replace that income of the most valuable tips i'm so thankful that i learned in the beginning so thankful that my coach told me to do this and that i listened because i really would have missed out on a lot of income and it comes to maximizing the compensation plan by working with your spouse so when I first signed up, I don't know if you guys remember months ago, I did a video about how to get your, how to get to diamond as quickly as possible. And they really push signing up your spouse right away to make sure they're at the top of one of your legs. And this is what she's going to tell us about. Yep. I basically, my coach told me, Hey, um, I highly recommend talking to your spouse and getting him signed up as a coach, one of your first coaches under you. And I was like, Okay, so I told him, and I was like, hey, this is what we're going to do. Don't worry, like, I'll manage your account. But obviously, you need to have your spouse on board. And so we signed. I don't like how these coaches train you based on the idea that you're entitled to your spouse signing up under you, that they don't have the, the right to to discuss it with you, to think about it. And if they don't, do it right away then they're not a supportive spouse and I've seen videos where people like top beach body coaches will start to question the the validity of relationships if the spouse does not support the coach and I think that's really toxic and could lead to relationship struggles down the road I came up right away and I was told to put him on my week leg and I did so if you're a brand new coach which if you're watching this you probably are you have a strong leg, most likely you have a strong leg and a weak leg. Your strong leg is called your strong leg because you actually, volume-wise, build that leg with your sponsor, upline coach. After you joined your coach's team, everyone that your coach adds to their team on that same leg after you, it's to contribute to your volume. And so for me personally, my left leg is by far my strong leg. I grew exponentially fast because I was adding coaches to my left leg and my coach was adding coaches to her left leg after. So Beachbody is a binary compensation plan, meaning she just said it that we have two legs as a coach. And so I'm up here, Heather, and then I sign up Bob right down here. And then anyone else that I put on my left leg is going to go under Bob and that will contribute to Bob's, Bob's volume. And she's going to tell us why she would put her her spouse on her weak leg so if you remember what team cycle bonus is so it's every time your strong leg gets to 200 personal volume points so that means your coaches either buy or purchase products worth that amount of points and then your weak leg gets to 100 personal volume points that means you cycle and depending on your rank you get a different amount every time you cycle and depending on your rank you also have a certain maximum amount that you can get each week from this bonus me, which which added to my volume and I know that this is a lot in the beginning but just know you have a strong and a weak leg there's different strategies as far as where you should put your spouse my personal recommendation if you have a strong and a weak leg is to add your spouse to your weak leg and let them be make sure they are your first coach sign up on your weak leg it is prime real estate for them because we're in this for the long run, right? We're not just in this for the short run for a short period of time. We're in this for... So that makes sense. You want to have your spouse, the account that you control on the leg that produces less volume because if you're lucky enough to be recruited by an active coach who is still 
directly recruiting people and so she still has personally sponsored coaches you are going to get people placed underneath you from your upline however if you don't have an active a coach who's consistently actively recruiting you're not going to have your coach putting people underneath you and then you're going to have to build that leg by yourself so in my opinion it's not going to be as easy for your for you to figure out which one is your strong leg because you're just you're not going to have any support there. It makes sense to put your spouse on your weak leg because then you control that. And if you are, if your volume is a bit lower one month, you can just put in a bigger purchase on your spouse's account. Does that make sense? I know this is a lot of technical discussion, but as I said in a video, a few videos ago, I like learning about what these people actually do day to day and how they try to make money and advance their businesses. In addition to all of the manipulation and recruitment tactics that they use for our career this is the goal right to be extremely successful to have a career out of this so i'm going to share with you the top not everyone wants a career in beachbody when they sign up a lot of people might want like as you would probably say 500 extra dollars a month a thousand extra dollars a month and a lot of coaches still want to keep their jobs as a teacher as a doctor as someone in an office, not everyone who joins Beachbody wants it to be their career. They might just be in a bit of a financially vulnerable state and need extra money. Maybe they're trying to pay down their debt. Maybe they want to buy a home. Maybe they want to save for their children's education. So that's a pretty big blanket statement in my opinion. Top tips as to why you would want to sign up your spouse as your one of your first, one of your first two coaches on your team. First, one of your first goals as a new coach is to get to Emerald. When you put your coach, when you sign up your spouse, um, and this, I'm going to use spouse to make it simpler in this video, but it could be any, your parent, um, anyone who lives with you, sibling who lives with you, it is in our policy procedure that needs to be someone who actually lives with you in your household is, or the parent, close family member. Um, <clears throat> you are, what if, so that policy that she's talking about is the U plus two policy. When I heard her say this, I looked it up on Beachbody Compliance and she's right. You can have two accounts that have your, your credit card number attached to it, but it has to be a close family member. She said it has to be someone who lives with you in the compliance section. It didn't say that. It just said spouse or close family member. So that just mean like husband or wife, common law spouse, parent, sibling and that's it it can't be like your aunt or like your grandma that you control the account of i wonder if people get around that rule in kind of creative ways maybe they control the kind of like their sister and their grandma and they don't put their their credit card number on it but maybe they reimburse that person every month for their expense I watched a Beachbody team call on camera ago with a 10 star diamond coach who was telling us about when she went elite five star diamond. Only one of her diamonds were actually real diamonds, not controlled by her. So she had her, her second business center that she controlled that she got to diamond. And so that's one. And then she had three other diamonds that she controlled. I think she said it was like her mom, her mom, her best friend, and her grandma or something, and she controlled those accounts. And then she just had one person who was an actual diamond. And I just, I wonder how many people do that in Beachbody, and I can't imagine the expense of just controlling all your accounts, reimbursing all these people every month, just so you can have a rank that is actually completely meaningless in the real world. So if anyone here who happens to watch this video was ever in Beachbody, I would, I would be curious if rank buying like this is a common thing. And if you knew of any Beachbody coaches who would just reimburse a bunch of people for the accounts that they actually controlled. One of your first goals is Emerald, which is a coach on their left leg and a coach on their right leg. Once you hit Emerald, there are specific bonuses to, or benefits to that. <laughs> Sorry, I have mom expense over here. Hot mom mess, hot mess mom express over here. Yep, if I can do this, you can do this. Um, but, but being Emerald. I find Beachbody coaches really like to exaggerate their relatable nature. They like to 
make it seem like they're just a mess, they're not getting through day to day. And so if they can be successful in beach body and they're such a mess and they're always stressed out and running after their kids, if they can do it, you can do it too. I talked about this before, how that kind of idea is flawed because everyone's different. It's like saying, if I can learn tuba in a week, you can learn tuba in a week. We know that doesn't make any sense means that you then qualify for bonuses each week, which is huge, right? Which is huge. That's the goal. Residual income is the goal. So when you sign up your spouse, you are halfway to Emerald. You just need one more coach on the other leg and then you're Emerald. She's making it seem like getting one more coach is such an easy thing when it's a $16 coach, monthly coach fee. If you're signing up with a challenge pack, it's $160. And then on top of that, there's a 50 personal volume requirement where you can either buy products or sell products. So it's not an easy thing to convince people to join the business, even if you only need one extra coach. Boom, done, awesome. First benefit. Second benefit, I'm gonna kind of use this, this diagram, which is gonna be backwards for you, I know, but just bear with me. So here's you, every coach has two legs. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the screen. It just has, she wrote you at the top in a circle and then she's showing she's showing what a diamond team would look like pretty much so there's four coaches on the left four on the right and she's going to talk about how one coach on each leg becomes emerald by assigning two coaches what's interesting about beach body rankings is that you can't have two emeralds on one of your legs and have none on the other because then you wouldn't be emerald i've seen people talk about how they have like five diamonds but they're like but they're actually three star diamond because people on more people on one of their legs advanced their business and actually got to diamond so they don't get to qualify for the elite ranking they don't get to they don't have access to the five star diamond rank just because their diamonds happen to be on the wrong legs your spouse is going to be this is going to going to be your weak leg we'll say and this is your friend over here or your mom maybe okay every single person that you add to your team on that leg after your spouse is going to contribute to their volume now let's pretend that you waited to sign up your spouse and you put them down here somewhere but this girl up here took off top coach in the company volume exploded you'll benefit from that volume exploding but your spouse's account will not see any of that they will not benefit but if you put your spouse first and then down here anywhere down the road you have someone explode in volume, be extremely successful. Your it's all going to go up to your spouse's volume as well. And I know this is complicated, but trust me. She says, "I know this is complicated. Everything in Beachbody is complicated. Nothing is ever straightforward." So what she said does make sense. If you have your spouse right beneath you, and say you have like an Emily Favre on your team who went from one star to fifteen star diamond in like six or nine months, she just explodes. She is right that you are going to get more volume in, in your account. However, say your spouse's account gets to diamond and just stays at diamond, and then Emily Favre gets to 15 star diamond, even though you your spouse as her upline is only diamond, right? That's not going to change the amount that, that your coach can get as a cycle. So if you're a diamond, you can get maximum $2,000 a week on your cycle. So if you have Emily Favre on your week leg, you're probably going to cycle more. And when you are, for your matching bonus, if you are Ruby, you get 5% of every time like Emily Favre or Holly Hillier would cycle. And if you're diamond and above, you get 10%. And so she is right if a coach underneath your spouse explodes and is in the top 10 you are going to make a lot of money and say you're a diamond and you get 10 percent matching off of everything emily Favre or holly hillier does that's twelve hundred dollars a week and you could comfortably live off of that lots of people in the u.s and canada don't make that much money and you could make you could make a very solid living just on the matching bonus of one coach that happens to blow up in your spouse's business center that you want that volume to contribute to both of your business centers. In essence, simplicity. The number one reason to sign up for your spouse as one of your two first coaches is because you, you get to earn in two different accounts, you're earning money. So everyone that you sign up after your, spou after your spouse under your business center 
you're making a commission on, you're earning volume on, and your spouse is earning volume on all of these people. So you're getting, essentially, you're kind of double dipping in income because you have two accounts open that pay your house bills, right? So you get to double your team volume on the lake that your spouse is on. Um, the next benefit is you get to, you can build your spouse to emerald, which will help you get to diamond. And there's specific benefits of getting to diamond. Diamond is essentially this, four coaches on each leg with an emerald on each leg. You build your spouse to emerald, you only need one more emerald over here. And then again, you only need one more emerald. It's so easy. That's why barely anyone in our company of 400,000 coaches actually gets to diamond and can actually build two emeralds with the correct amount of coaches on the other legs. Because remember, if you happen to have two emeralds on one leg, that doesn't count and you're not diamond. It drives me crazy how all of these coaches make it seem like advancing in rank is just so easy. Diamond is a decision. It's not a big deal. It's not this huge, amazing milestone. You have to get to diamond and then you have to get to one star. So then you can go to a new leadership conference, correct? And then you have to get to two star because then you can be a premier coach. And then you also get your quarterly bonuses, but then you get to five star because then you are, you could be an elite coach and it just keeps going. In MLMs, you can never just be content and relaxed. There's always one rank that they want you to push for, and then another, and then another, and then another. Then the higher up you get, obviously, the more money you're gonna make off of recruiting. And we learned three of the four ways that Beachbody coaches get paid is based on recruiting. And once you get to the very top of the company, the, the uh, Star Diamond bonuses are literally just bonuses for you getting to your rank, which involves recruiting loads of people and maintaining your rank. So they don't even hide it with volume requirements and, oh, your team sold this much so you get paid. No, it's literally just because of the number of people you have on your team. Not a pyramid scheme though, right? You build your spouse to Emerald. Your spouse account is eligible for weekly team cycle bonuses. And you, as a diamond coach, now have a ton of benefits, including you're going to get paid more on your bonuses. You don't need to know all those details, just know it's a huge benefit. That's Every time you cycle as a diamond coach, you get $18 per cycle. That's probably what she's talking about. That's what I did, and it made getting to diamond quickly much easier. Um, the next step in your rank advancement after diamond would be one star. And when you are hell-bent on success, when you are so excited about what you're doing, and you're talking to everyone, you're gonna grow quickly. And once you get to Diamond, you can build your spouse's account to Diamond. Of course. Wouldn't it be nice if the only requirement for success is that you wanted to be successful and then you would magically just get to one star Diamond and then, hey, I wanna be two stars so I can have access to star Diamond bonuses. I'm just gonna magically build my spouse to Diamond because it's so easy because everyone in the company does it. I'm just kidding, I'm being sarcastic, but these these calls are just so misleading because it makes it seem like it's such an easy linear process when it's not. And 90% of the people on her team are not going to get to Diamond, unfortunately. Of course, compliance is watching this. You're building it with them. You guys are a team and you're doing it together, right? But you can build another. That was weird. According to the compliance page I saw, you don't need to make it seem like you're building it as a team. You just can only have your account, your credit card number on two accounts that are close family members, mom, sibling, spouse. I don't know what she's talking about. She's being kind of weird. Organization under your spouse's account. What's that going to do? Since you put your spouse on your week leg, all the volume from your spouse's team that's growing, that's growing to Diamond, is going to you're gonna build income in your spouse's account, and again, it's going to double dip into your business center. You build your spouse to diamond, and you say a diamond, you become a one-star diamond. And it was all something that your family, your business had complete control over, which is amazing. Uh, we know that's not true in MLM. You don't, <clears throat> you don't have control over anything because especially in Beachbody, your success, your income, your rank is based on whether or not your downline does their job. So whether or not they buy or purchase, whether or not they recruit and they hold their rank. If an emerald drops rank, that's going to mess up 
the diamond rank and that person's going to drop rank and it's going to keep going up and up the pyramid and you're going to have all these people who are dropping in their star diamond rank so all it takes is just one person losing their rank and then the whole pyramid could be reshuffled and everyone's going to drop rank so that's an extremely false statement it is not in your control at all um one a huge milestone in our business especially where income really <clears throat> changes and shifts like this is a bit making a big difference in our family is two star diamond and it's so much easier in a sense when you get to control one of those diamonds with being your you have more income at two star i've said this before because you get access to the star diamond bonuses every single quarter and for two star it's like 800 to 1200 extra per quarter Bounce, and then you help someone else get a diamond on your other leg and all of a sudden boom you're at two star you're earning quarterly bonuses um as well as those weekly bonuses and your volumes exponentially growing okay um the other benefit is that you get more leads so beachbody gives us free leads when you're an emerald coach and you hit success club you will get free leads People will go onto the Beachbody On Demand website or buy something off an of infomercial and everyone who buys something from the Team Beachbody website gets assigned a coach. Isn't that rad? So you get free customers, essentially, every single month when you are an Emerald coach and you're hitting Success Club 5 or Success Club 10, um, which is getting three to five people a month started with a challenge pack. Do you notice how she's just subtly leaving out the fact that you need to have 90 personal volume points shipped to you in home direct <coughs> sorry every single month to be eligible for a success club so if you want these free leads you have more personal volume requirements if you're an emerald that's only 50 personal volume but then if you want to get to success club it has to be 90 and it has to be auto shipped i've talked about her a hundred times on this channel but deanna mims told a story when she was in beach body she didn't know that her purchase had to be on home direct or auto ship to be qualified for success club she purchased 90 pv worth of products and then her upline told her that you need to you need to purchase again on home direct so you can qualify for success club i wonder why her upline would want her in success club it's because anytime your direct your direct recruit your personally sponsored coach hit success club that upline gets elite points and all the coaches want to be elite and that whole road to elite program is another example of how your success in Beachbody is based on the efforts and skill of your downline not on your own skill so when you do that in your spouse's account say you already hit se10 in your business center and then you're like i want to get more leads and i'm trying to help my spouse's account grow to diamond so i'm gonna hit success club in their account you're getting leads in two different accounts, which is so cool. But you have to have 90 personal volume points in each account, so that's a bigger expense. Free customers, free money, free volume, all going to help maximize the compensation plan. It's not free because you have to pay for all that stuff. You have to pay your coach fee, you have to pay for your challenge pack, you have to have personal volume requirements. None of this is free. You even have to have higher personal volume requirements if you want to hit Success Club. And why would you want to hit Success Club? It's because your upline is going to pressure you to hit Success Club so they get more points. That's all it is. It's all about servicing your upline, who services her upline up and up and up. Then it makes the 15 star diamond coaches at the very top of the pyramid even more rich. Um, and then as a brand new coach, when you go to sign up your husband, or your, I'm sorry, your spouse, you're going to do it with the challenge pack. That is, I mean, I will say, in my opinion, it's the best route to go because you get your coach fee, registration fee waived, you earn commission on your spouse's order, and you earn two success club points for your spouse's challenge pack. Why is she making it seem so amazing that you earn commission when you're spending $160 of your own money and then you get like, please correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's 40% commission between 20 and 40%. If you happen to know, leave it in the comments below. So you get a min minuscule amount of the 160 that you paid in. So that doesn't make any sense. That's not a benefit. It's not free success club points. It's just you putting even more money into this company without any actual financial gain back. First pack order. <coughs> and that helps you qualify for other incentives such as success club as a brand new coach and success starters as a brand new coach. 
which there's incredible incentives to that, which if you don't know, ask your coach. And then lastly, Success starter is another useless form of recognition that Beachbody has. Instead of just paying their, their employees, they have this useless title. That just means you help at least three people with a challenge pack in three of your first six months as a coach. And if you achieve that, you are a success starter. You get a free ticket to Summit and you get put in a test group for one of the new exercise programs. And that just means you work out with the trainer and you get to give your feedback and your criticism on the program. I would rather just a cash bonus personally because these poor people don't make any money and all of the recognition aspects, the promotions in Beachbody are like useless prizes, t-shirts, sweatshirts, fanny packs, and none of it is actual. Here, you did a good job, you made us money, we're going to give you a check. That's unfortunate. Hey. Um, just a few like housekeeping things to know when you do sign up your spouse, you do not have to have necessarily a home direct Shakeology order coming out of your spouse's account. They just need 50 personal volume to maintain an active status. That's the goal is 50. So for us, I have never changed in four years. My Shakeology order, it comes out on the same, the first of every month. And in my husband's account, we order beach bars or our pre-workout to keep him active. And, and then I also get the volume from my husband's orders, which is pretty cool. So it's he's on my weekly. Once he hits, once you In Beachbody, they don't actually say you have to purchase to meet your personal volume requirements, but coaches are gonna tell you, you have to be the product of the product. So even if you have two accounts that you control, just purchase to meet your PV requirements and then say in one account you could get Shakeology and the other you could get Energize and Beach Bars and they're going to say, well, you should be using Energize anyways because you can pose with it on your social media. You can be the product of the product and people are going to ask you about it and then you are going to sell Energize to more people. And so we, we see here, it's not a requirement to buy, but high up elite coaches are going to tell you you need to buy in order to be a product of the product. I've seen other coaches, another coach who's been in the top 10, I think two or three times, and she tells her coaches that she expects you to have a $100 purchase every single month to meet your personal volume requirements and to be a product of the product. Sorry, my throat kind of hurts. Your spouse account hits diamond, then that will go bump up to 100, but by that point, you'll be making significantly more money as well. So those did you hear that? So if you get your spouse to diamond, you have a hundred personal volume points for him that you have to purchase instead of 90 to meet your your success club requirements. So the higher up you get, the more personal volume you have to purchase or sell. And please correct me if I'm wrong, once you get to one star diamond and above, your personal volume requirements goes up to 200. So you would have your 90 PV on home direct so you can qualify for success club and then you have 110 other personal volume points that you have to buy most likely buy or sell are all the benefits as to why you would want to sign up your spouse as a coach on your team as one of your two first coaches again if the longer that you wait the more that you miss out on that volume and you really don't want to kick yourself later. I know, like, we make, we get paid out of my spouse's account every single uh, week, which I'm really thankful for. I know people who are extremely successful and get paid residual income from their spouse's account every single week, and their spouse doesn't really do anything for the business. So it's just a great way to maximize the compensation plan. Hope this was helpful. That's all I have for today. I think having a spouse account that you control makes sense when you're at the top of the company and when you're an elite coach, and it's actually going to add to your profit. However, when you're first starting out and you're, you're not even Emerald yet and you're pressured, to, you're pressured to sign up your spouse, you're not making any money yourself, correct? And then you have to meet the requirements for your spouse's account, and you're just going to put yourself into greater debt. And I would hope I know this isn't a thing because they're not taught this, but I would hope new coaches would track their requirements and tr not the requirements, their expenses, so they could easily see, oh, well, with both accounts, I'm going into significant debt and I should stop this because this is going to hurt us financially. 
So I know that discussion was more technical, but I, again, I like learning about this stuff and discussing it. If you have any insight, if you were in Beachbody previously and you know more about the technical aspect of signing up your spouse as your first coach, I would love to hear it in the comments below. That's all I have. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.